On a per bird basis, that the happiness or the, the bang for the buck is that much higher for the owl. I mean, most people have no idea that there are, are that many of them and that they even, you know, they even exist. You know, and I'm a scientist, but I'll admit, you know, I'll, 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 I'll throw in a little emotion here. I mean, they're, they're the most adorable things you would want to look at. In 1998, which was our second year of Songbirds, we had enough of a crew and enough interest on the crew that we decided that working every day in the morning wasn't enough, but we could maybe do some shifts at night. So this is a flam? Or? No, this is a solid. I don't think he probably has anything because it's a rodent thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't remember the exact history, but I know a few flammulated owls were captured in those first couple of experimental years. And so that adds kind of a new twist to what people have done in the East because flammulated owl is a Western species that's unique in the fact that it's a long distance migrant. From a conservation perspective, with the northern sawwood owl, they seem like a pretty common owl, and so it doesn't seem like an emergency situation as far as, like I said, from a conservation perspective, like, wow, we need to get a lot more attention on this bird now. With flammulated owl, I think that is a species that's of concern to a lot of people, and, and there is a need to get more people aware, whether it's general public or you know government officials or anything in between. Very little known about flammulated owls and their migration. So I think our project was the first really in the West to document their timing of their migration. I mean, we catch probably 5,500 songbirds every year, 1,000 raptors every year, and in some years, 75 to 200 owls. This year, over 500, so it was a big year. To describe the initial reaction of most people that participate in that is just pure amazement. You know, for one thing, that there were owl species that small. For another thing, that there were so many. And then to be able to see those up close and even hold them in the hand and, and release them is an experience that, you know, the average person can't even begin to, to, to think about, let alone do. <laughs> <laughs> and so he flew that way and went left. 